Hello, my name's Scott. This is the Slow Rider channel, and you're watching the Kawasaki Vulcan S 5000 mile review. If you enjoy motorcycle content, appreciate it. If you subscribe, it does certainly help. So, first of all, let's talk about performance. So the Vulcan S will get up and go. It'll it'll get moving pretty quick. It it doesn't have a lot of top end, right? It's a cruiser, not a sport bike. A lot of these sort of mid weight cruisers are, are not going to break any speed records. So I think it's rated for top speed of right around 110 to 115 miles an hour, and that's pretty accurate from what I've seen on the track. Of course, it has. I think the sweet spot for the torque and horsepower is really in the, the mid RPMs. It's not a slouch at the lower RPMs, around three, four thousand. Uh, it's got enough to get you around comfortably. It kind of wakes up, I think, right around six thousand. And if I'm not mistaken, that's pretty close to where the peak torque rating is. I'm not too far from about six to seven thousand RPM. Um, and you can feel it as you start pulling away. It, you get into that 6,000 RPM range, and from 6 to 8,000, it really pulls, I think, surprisingly strong. Cruising on the freeway, highway, when you're 65 mile an hour or so, uh, it, it's certainly capable of that. And, it, it, you know, I've cruised at 75 maybe close to 80, of course, in uh, states where those speeds are legal. Um, at those, you know, it's 75 to 80 mile an hour. It, you, you know this thing's working, right? The, the RPMs are up pretty high. So it's not ideal for that. It's not s s particularly comfortable. 60 to 70 miles an hour, certainly very comfortable. So speaking of highway riding, you know, without a windshield, it's what you would expect. You, you can do it. It's not bad. I, I very routinely will ride this bike for an hour or more, you know, at highway speeds of 70 mile an hour, let's say. And it, it's not bad. You, you know, after an hour, you're probably ready for a break as you would with any sort of bike without a fairing or a windshield. But the windshield's where it, it's kind of a letdown for me. I have tried two windshields for this bike, the factory windshield and an aftermarket windshield, and they both really have horrible head buffeting. Anything above 50 miles an hour with the factory windshield and maybe about 60 miles an hour with the aftermarket windshield, the head buffeting is just really, really bad, super uncomfortable. So that's a disappointment. So that's a good time to talk about the comfort of this Vulcan S. I've read a lot and, and heard a lot of people complaining about the comfort of the factory seat after about 30 to 45 minutes of riding. A lot of people say they really get super uncomfortable as they get close to an hour of sitting on this. And for reasons unknown to me, that's really not been the case for me. I've ridden up to two and a half hours, I think, pretty much non-stop and not had a problem with the seat. What I have had a problem is after a couple hours, my knees, you know, just the legs being in that position, I need to stretch out, which you're going to get on pretty much anything. Um, so this, the seat comfort for me has been pretty good, honestly. A lot of people complain, but I can't. The last thing I want to mention that's somewhat related to comfort is driving in stop-and-go traffic. And the Vulcan S, like a lot of fuel-injected bikes, I think, has a very twitchy throttle. The throttle goes from off to on without much in between. So when you're riding in stop-and-go traffic, you really have to use the clutch. You know, you're in the friction zone an awful lot. It's really difficult to just kind of leave it in first gear or second gear and creep along you know, gradually increasing or decreasing with traffic without using the clutch. Uh, so they, it just makes it a little uncomfortable. I, I know that's not unique to the Vulcan S, 
but it's something to be aware of. All right, so let's talk about handling. And I'm going to preface this by saying this is not an area of expertise for me by any means, but this Vulcan S, very nimble. It feels very light. It weighs in at just under 500 pounds wet weight, but it feels super nimble, very maneuverable. This is easily, I think, one of the strong suits of this bike. Another area where this bike really excels is when it comes to costs. The costs not only of purchasing, but also maintaining and owning this bike. So the Vulcan S competes really well in this area with an MSRP. I think the 2022 model is just under $7,500 US. And for that price, you get a really excellent well-rounded bike that will do a lot for you. So let's talk next about fuel economy. This is one area where I've been really surprised. The ratings for this thing are all over the place. I've seen numbers as low as 40 and as high as 56, 57. And I will confirm that this will easily get 57 miles per gallon. I verified that about a week ago, filled up um, did the calculation and it was right on 57 miles per gallon. That's with the lowest octane gas, right? 89 octane, which is what it is rated for. So that's really great, especially with the gas prices being what they are. The gas tank is not huge on this thing. I don't know exactly what the numbers are. I, I get easily 150 miles out of tank of gas. And that's usually with quite a bit to spare, usually 30 to 40 miles. So I would say 180 to 190 miles should be pretty easy to get. All right, so the last thing I wanted to talk about is just the brakes very briefly. And I have to say the brakes are just okay. They're not horrible. They're not great. They're not going to launch you over the handlebars. You're not going to be doing any stoppies. I will say the anti-lock brake system, the ABS, is pretty good. It's not too intrusive. It's there when you need it. Uh, you can be pretty confident that you can grab that front brake pretty hard if you need to, and the ABS is going to take care of things when, it, when you need it to. So that wraps it up. Really appreciate you watching. Like I said, if you find this useful, please hit the subscribe button, and feel free to share your experiences or thoughts in the comments.